What's up guys? So a couple of days ago I made a video talking about this thing here, the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, and I explored uh, what it's capable of in terms of gaming. I tested PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile. If you want to see the results of that test, I'm going to link to it in the comments below. I got some comments about emulators though, so I thought it would be a good thing to check back in, make another video, and this time test out a few emulators ranging from DS, Game Boy Advance, and even PSP and see what this bad boy is capable of. All right, so here we are back on this Chromebook's home screen, and what we're going to do is just start running through some of these. So let's start off with Game Boy Advance. All right, now I am not altogether uh, going to be shocked if this thing can run Super Nintendo flawlessly. It is what I expect to happen. I also expect for uh, this to be a terrible experience because I'm using the touchscreen and you can't play Mario on a touchscreen. I'm sorry, you just you just can't. Oh my god. Yeah. But at any rate, if I were to take the, the time to connect a Bluetooth controller. Obviously, Game Boy Advance seems to work pretty much flawlessly. And I guess, I don't know, man, like maybe if you if you got real practiced at this, you could maybe get better at it, but I can't personally do the whole touch screen platformer thing. It makes my brain hurt, but uh, I think we can call it. Uh, Game Boy Advance a rousing success. All right, let's take a step up into the world the wonderful world of Nintendo 64. This seems Promising so far. All right, Super Mario 64 one of my all-time favorite games and this Is running Pretty doggone good guys. This this is actually really solid. Wow. Same thing goes, you know, I, I think that you're going to hear me say that the controls need to be enlarged frequently in this in this video, but other than that, man, this is, this is like perfect. If you were to attach a Bluetooth controller or something like that, this would be uh, really pretty good. I mean, look at that. Come on. Come on. Ba, 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 ba. Guys, there is no slowdown. Wow. Okay, so the controls are still a problem for me. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't hit the buttons, man. They're so small. But otherwise, hey. In 64. I'm going to call this a success. There's some weird textured stuff going on over here. That's creepy and making me feel very uncomfortable. But other than other than that, just don't go into that corner, right? You mean, you mean good shape. Just don't go in that corner over there. Or, or, or over here. All right, and let's go to the DS. I've always thought that the DS was sort of a, that's fine, was sort of a weird, a weird thing to play in an emulator simply because you've got, you've got two trains here. We're gonna go 150cc. We're gonna go with my boy Yoshi. The egg is fine. Yup, that's good. So, as you can see here, this is running Quite, quite good. Let's go to high res 3D rendering and let's enable multi thread. Go back here. That looks tremendously good. Now we're going to turn it on full screen on that display and boy, howdy, look at that. Look at that. That right there, what you got yourself right there. Is a damn fine emulating experience. 
even on a touch screen, I, got, I get the feeling I could still play this game. It's been a long time, guys, but I gotta tell you, I can still feel the... I can still feel the, what they call it, this thing you would do to gain speed. I forget what it's called, but I still feel like I can do it pretty decently, even on the touch screen after many, many years. So guys, I think, uh, yeah, I think that... Um, DS is a success. All right, now let's try PSP. Never tried a PSP emulator before in my life, but I've got God of War Ghost of Sparta here. It says up top there that it's running slowly. I don't feel like, I don't know, maybe these menus are just long. I'm skeptical. I surely hope that it's not just running this poorly. It is, it is definitely running. Very poorly. Let's see if we can hear the audio here. Let's see if we can turn frame skip on like two. And man, there's a lot going on here. Rendering resolution, two times PSP. Let's try it on just, you know, as it is. Okay, so that's better. We're definitely running a lot better. I don't know what that button does. Someone, someone tell me. Audio sounds much better. Let's see if we can get into some gameplay here. All right, I appear to now be playing the game and it is not running well. It is pretty choppy. Cinematics, cinematics, zoom out. Definitely got some frame drops here. I would advise increasing the size of the controls because I keep missing my buttons. Um, okay, let's see here. Post processing shader off, rendering resolution, one time PSP. Uh, what could I do here? Upscaling is not on. Anisotropic filtering is 16x. I mean, let's just let's just go. Let's just go. Uh, turn that down. We'll turn frame counter on. So as you can see here, we are getting 20 20 frames per second, pretty much on lock. I mean, maybe if you're look, maybe if you're playing. A game that isn't this graphically intensive maybe you know like a, like a platformer or something like that let's try that let's try that let's try turning that to low I'm still hanging at 20 did this game just play at 20 FPS can someone tell me that seems insane to me but maybe on a small screen maybe maybe that's all you get it seems playable, you know. Honestly, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised to be honest with you. So I would call this this actually a, a success. All right. So the Lenovo Chromebook Duet continues to impress and surprise. Emulators are totally on the table. Even PSP Ghost of Sparta running pretty pretty well actually. So guys, before I go, if you enjoyed this video or appreciate this content, please do drop a like and a subscribe. I'm still trying to get to that thousand mark. Hopefully. You're watching this video and I've like blown past a thousand, but still give me that subscribe anyways, because I'm, I'm really trying to get to that thousand mark. If there's anything else you want to see me test on the duet, um, let me know, because I'm open to it. Whatever y'all want to see, I'll, I'll give it a shot and see what I can, what I can do. So until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.